Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. In the middle of uh, rebuilding my studio here, I just finished my workplace fast enough so that I could get this video out. I don't know what my acoustics are right now, I haven't put anything up, but uh, this needs to get out. Uh, the Supreme Court, as now constituted, with Justice Kavanaugh and Justice Neil Gorsuch, uh, two supposed conservative judges, uh, they were the hope was that they would be more Second Amendment friendly and take up some of the challenges that were in the mist uh, regarding uh, concealed carry and permits and restrictions and gun bans and red flags. All, the list goes down. Uh, it's a long list, okay? But some bad news today. So California has a case that was appealed. It comes out of Sacramento uh, that has to do with carrying handguns in public and concealed carry and all that stuff out of California. Uh, well, the Supreme Court just refused to, it, to take that uh, case up, which basically leaves the restrictions in California in place. Now, here I am on the Supreme Court's own website. Uh, the case is James Rothery et al. versus Lou uh, Blanis et al. Uh, this, I will have it in the description if you want to look at the case. But this would have been great just to challenge how the sheriffs in California and chiefs of police here in Massachusetts and other parts of the country can just determine their own requirements uh, on whether or not uh, you uh, are suitable for a license to carry. The crux of the case is that the defendants were stating that they were unjustly refused permits to carry in public, you know, because of California's gun control. Now, the sheriff at the, the, the base of this in Sacramento has already changed the policy that is that was being questioned and he was being sued on. Um, and that might be why the court decided, uh, refused to take it up, because that policy that they were challenging is no longer in effect. However... It would have been nice for them to take this up to set a, a precedent where, uh, you know, cities and towns just couldn't change ordinances or policies or laws for concealed carry based on a whim. Um, so this doesn't stop them from changing it back to the old law uh, because, or the old policy, because now, you know, the, 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 the uh, government there and the sheriff could just change it whenever they want and it would affect thousands of people and they would have to sue again to get it changed. We were hoping that this case would challenge the May issue um, of not just California, but every state that has May issue, mine included, here in Massachusetts. It's not a shall issue state. It's up to the individual um, chiefs of police, and they can decide whether you get a license to carry or not. It just would have been nice if the Supreme Court have taken up this case to destroy the May issue uh, BS that goes around, uh, goes on in different parts of the country, uh, Maryland, New York. All these uh, gun control states uh, could have had a smackdown come in with this case, but unfortunately they didn't take it up. It would have been nice to have them say everything was shall carry and follow the Second Amendment, but this is the hottest news. It just came down. I uh, hope you can uh, pass this along for me and help me in that cause. I apologize for the uh, audio and video at the moment. Um, this is a work under progress. Um, thank you all for helping this channel grow so that I could actually get a, a desk. <laughs> and if you want to help support the channel, Links and, and information is in the description of every video. Please forward this to your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you can get the fastest Second Amendment news right here on Guns and Gadgets. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.